Doug here with Yaskawa, and I'm at Ferro Robotics US or Americas, and I'm here with uh, Michael, the Vice President of Ferro Robotics, Fer Robotics Americas. And uh, if you could just take us through kind of what you're showcasing here and uh, why you chose Yaskawa for this application. Perfect. Thank you, Doug, and thank you for Yaskawa for having us here today and let me introduce you some of our applications which we can showcase to our customers. What you, you see here, we have a Yaskawa robot here uh, with one of our partners, Audis where we do paint repair. Uh, and not only on paint, we can do eco repair, primer repair, or clear coat repair. Uh, we have our double-headed solution there, so we can do sanding and polishing and cleaning with the same head here. So it allows the customer to do a full integrated process. We also have material changing or the paper changing, so we can take off the used uh, abrasives we can uh, use change the pads there. We grab a new abrasive. We can grab a new pad if necessary. So it's a fully integrated version. Uh, everything collaborates very well with Yaskava. All this is vision system. We also work with Yaskava on the Yaskava robots. We were nice enough to bring this application here to the United States. All this is originally a Spain company with a footprint in the U.S. as well. We're working and serving our automotive customers, North American customers, with them in that kind of field with defect detection and defect repair. Okay. Great. When we walk over here, this is a little less delicate work. We are working here on metal grinding. What you can see here is an operation basically with Kluth Robotics, which is originally a German company. And you just see the turntable here. So you can load outside the parts, then you bring them in. They can do all the welding and automate the welding for you. So basically you can weld up your parts, but then you have weld seams which you maybe want to hide, which you want to grind down. What this system is doing, it has a multifunctionality tool there. So we can pick up like a grinding wheel. It's a patented robotics technology on how our tool changer works. Very agile tool, fast responsive tool. We take here an angular direct driven approach. We go down there, we can grind down the surface, we can grind down the weld seam and finish the part afterwards with an orbital sanding solution or a brushing solution. You can see material removal, what a heavier part. This one was very delicate. This can really remove a lot of material, but we can go the step further, as I mentioned before, taking down now the heavy grit sandpaper with the 40 grit sandpaper, going over, laid it down in this tool tray and picking up an orbital sander which gives us the finish. Also, hook and loop paper changing station here in the back. We're not doing that because otherwise we have a lot of wasted sandpaper. But uh, you can see it's got to pick up the orbital motion and going back to the same part, it is finishing the surface. Maybe we walk over and I, yeah, we can great. have a closer look to the tool changing operation and to actually the part sanding. So you see it's gonna it picked up the, the, the next tool here from this trace going over on the part and it's now doing the finish. You can go as fine as the customer needs with the finish, random orbital finish, either ready for paint or this could be stainless steel. Maybe it's the finish you wanna keep in the end of the day. Right? Now it will after going over the part, it will demonstrate. The paper changing so it's going here to this almost board looking thing you go over you can remove the sandpaper it's checking that the sandpaper is removed afterwards goes to the magazine picks up a new sandpaper it's checking if the new sandpaper is on and it's ready for the next part the next cycle excellent Reality works much faster, but we are on a trade show. We don't want to hurt anyone, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So let's go over to this to this cell here. That's a collaborative robot approach. We are partnering here with a company called Kane Robotics. <clears throat> Kane Robotics is a California-based or Texas-based company. They provide cobot solutions, ready systems like this. This is their system called Grid XL, like for large. So you can have more parts, heavier parts here. You can move this gantry back and forth. They are using a, a collaborative robot there with our 
ACFK solution, we call FCOM Flange Kit. It's a flexible platform for low payload robots, not necessarily needed to be a collaborative robot, but it allows very quick interaction and changing between tools. I show you later a couple more of the tools which we have available, but basically any type of hand tool can go on this. As I mentioned, heavier, bigger parts, you have a smaller system uh, than the regular grid system, which is more like a table and you can put the presenter workpiece before. Flexibility, easy to program robots, low payload robots, but give them the flexibility uh, of the tool change. Here, well, one of our partners, Dynabrate, Dynabrate is a partner where we are getting all uh, the tools from. So for our low payload solutions, we are using their manual hand tools. You can see the advantage of them is they are light, they are not overheating, they give a lot of flexibility. There's a lot of tools out there. Dynabrate is a 100% US uh, manufactured tool company. So it's very good also in the supply chain. We like working with them. They give us very nice uh, lead times. They are coming out from uh, close to Buffalo, New York. They have here also a low payload robot. We are showing two applications live actually here. One is polishing. Right now the tool is turned off so that we don't have the noise all the time. All right. It was running a second ago. Um, so mirror finishing from this actually is a process where we have the tool on the turntable and we start with heavier grinding. So we have grinding wheels before orbital sanding afterwards and then the final finish you can see our tool with a stroke in there and active force control right so we do live demos all of the tools are really running in touch with the park with tools and the active compliance of our tools keeps the pressure constant wonderful <clears throat> we have a second demo here where we swipe between the tools this is wood sanding uh, kitchen cabinet doors a jitterbug version this included vacuum so we can do dust extraction throughout the system, throughout the sandpaper and collect that so we have less um, dust. So, but what is Fair Robotics doing? And this is what I want to show you now. Our main thing is active force compliance. So we go on the end of the robot, we do active force control. <laughs> we have our ACF active contact flanges. They go on the end of a robot, like a Yaskama, they integrate with the robot. All of the units have a stroke. And within the stroke, we are <clears throat> controlling the force, the pressure on the part. And that ensures a constant process. This ensures a constant quality, especially in material removal applications. The ones we just saw, they are integrating via an electrical interface. So the robot tells the unit what force, what pressure it want to have. And the unit makes that happening. It stays in touch with the part. It follows the contour. It's working the orientation. So when you move it around, it keeps that pressure constant. Yes. We just spoke about the low payload robots here. This is our active contact flange kit here. You see a variety of tools. I would say almost any hand tool can go on there. It has a quick changing solution. So we patented that. It allows us to take a standard hand tool kind of thing, air-driven tool, you mount it on there, you're going ahead, you're closing the latches. Maybe I'm not the best experienced guy here, but uh, you look, you're closing the latches and now it's a random orbital sander, five inch. I can open that again and within seconds, I go ahead Strap and make it, a make it an angle a grinder. So now I remove a lot of material now I finish it, or I want a jitterbug, or I want a tool with more power. And the coolest thing is, in my opinion, is still this. 11 inch. Bigger is better. 11 right? inch or lower orbital sanding. So, uh, but it shows you the variety of tools which we can offer for those low payload oh, yeah, robots. That's great. Right? It gives our customers the flexibility of fulfilling all their finishing tasks, material removal tasks throughout their factory, throughout the processes. We have a bunch of abrasives here. In that case, we, we work with manufacturers like SIA. They support us with samples to help our customers. Or as Kaba, a personal, when you have an application, we make sure that you're getting everything from the robot down to your part. We try to close that gap. We have interface pads, phone pads that you can confirm, uh, backup pads for robot applications. <clears throat> 
those two tools we see here is a lot of dedicated to automotive industry normally that's the gold standard on roof joint grinding so mm. you know the cars have this visible laser brace on top we are finishing this here with our ASK solution it's a well-established product in the industry for finishing of, of laser brace and weld it's a grinding wheel vacuum dust collection this tool here is for like car door entrance cleaning there have been people trying that in the past the problem is the sensitivity is it has a galvanized layer and if you are not have a responsive and fast responsive and sensitive tool you're burning through that and then you have corrosion issue so the automotive industry loves us for that we can clean this car without really damaging it yes right without Very going key. through yep. this protection layer they spend a lot of money to put it on you don't want to necessarily grind it down it just want it clean <clears throat> and on this side you see our uh, product line for all the electrical toolings so on an industrial robot, all electrical tools, more power for high output applications. We start with dedicated envelope grinders for small, like for one inch, two inch, three inch tools, to bigger five inch, six inch tools, to seven inch grinding tools, mostly direct driven in that case. <clears throat> they can come as a straight version like this here, or they can have a tool change in between that you lay down the cones. Okay. Like what you see up here you see the the the, the patent the technology what we had also in the weld grinding cell right so it's it will lay down or they should lay down the cone here now it's doing another round um <clears throat> but you can pick up those cones with the different abrasives different sizes yeah. one inch five inch six inch six inch uh but also on the other side we have the orbital version so as we have seen on the weld grinding we can remove the weld but we can also finish the surface. And, and this is unseen in the industry and makes it the world's most flexible tool, not only straight operations, we also can do 90 degrees operations. So meaning by 90 degree, this is a straight operation. Here we're having a 90 degree operation, which allows us still the working forces here, but it allows us to use brushes, cutting wheels, uh, <clears throat> to cut off parts or brushes, flat wheels, whatever is going in that direction and this tool allows us to use not only straight tools but also the 90 degrees okay. at one step so we have a process right now where a customer has a rough surface to grind down the surface first you're going to take the orbital sander sand down the surface and then you take one of the buffing wheels and make mirror finish surface out with one tool with one robot obviously it's an aerospace application so you have a little better cycle time. Those tools are more the dedicated tools which we use in the automotive industry because they have 40 second cycle time. They don't have time for tool changing. <laughs> they barely have time for the, for the media change. So um, again, this is the same sizes what we had before, large, medium, and smaller, depending on what abrasive, what applications you want to do. We have here the tool where we can do the straight what a 90 degree application that's the one we saw up here. That's the one we saw in the weld grinding. This is probably the world's most sensitive tool. This is the one which we, we use over there for the spot repair. Okay. Where we have an inch disc oh, yeah. here, yes. an inch and a half disc here for repair. But on this side, we have a buffing pad, which allows us to completely finish and automate the process. We can use that for buffing. We can use the same system for cleaning. We have installed, I think our first application installed in an automotive plant was somewhere in 2018, where we started to do that. We have a nice showcase on there, about how they are using this type of technology, our type of technology to repair spot defects on car bodies after paint. Very amazing technology. This is an orbital sander, right? We had the angular, dedicated angular grinder before. This is the dedicated orbital sander. So it allows us this hook and loop to work with sandpaper or buffing papers. Everything is hook and loop or PSA, pressure sensitive adhesive. We can work with both. Uh, our tools are optimized for all of the sandpaper. So we can use any and facilitate any sandpaper the customers are using. We can help them with recommendations for new processes or optimizing their processes. So we work with abrasive manufacturer to close this loop really between the robot and the part to get the finished DVD.
So Yaskava is doing a good job in supporting their customers on the robot side. We are closing the gap from the robot down to the part and supporting the customer. Orbital sander, same thing in up to five and six inch orbital sander. Again, hook and loop, same principle, physical compliance, dust collection, very important, dust collection throughout the pad. And then the bigger baby here, uh, triple header for huge surfaces like trains and big planes, um, direct driven, high material removal rate, can do it direct driven, free driven. Again, vacuum, dust collection systems throughout. And we also have a paper changing solution where we can change all of the three papers at once and put on all three new same papers afterwards. I'm gonna come back to this one more time because this is a single solution, but you can arrange them as many as you want. This has one compliance and three pads with a gimbal. You can have three, four, five heads gimbaling that are independently controlled with different speeds, with different stroke to perform for your part. You just have a customer to bun and put a bunch in the row. You build a paper, you can build a paper changing station for that as well. So we really close everything for our customers there to be like a one-stop shop for everything on the material removal and finishing purpose. And I'm almost done here. Took a little bit uh, since our product range is growing dramatically all the time. But the last newest endeavor which we started uh, is our taping solution. Uh, which is basically allowing us to apply masking tape. So in that case, we, we do that here on the uh, leading edge. We can go over the surface. The tool is compensating for orientation, making sure we are always in touch with the part. And it allows us also to uh, change the pressure during operations. It allows us to do it bubble-free tape laying. In that case, the masking tape in different layers so that you can, when you have more layers of paint, you can remove them up one after the other. <clears throat> Very precise in the laying. It's light enough again to go to a, on a low payload robot. There are some limitations depending on the tape because there are millions million of different tapes out there. Sure. Some tapes are harder to pull and then we need a little higher payload robot. But it's easy enough, light enough to go on there it can not only do straight, it can also do different operation. And we see one, uh, one right here, it should now actually paint a smiley face onto the wing here. <clears throat> and this demo was put together by our friends from Aerobotics, these are uh, from, out from Alabama. Uh, it's an aerospace integrator, defense integrator. And you can see now it's doing a nice curve. and it's even drawing the eyes on there. <laughs> we tested this system up to two meter per second robot speed. Oh my so gosh. So obviously for the trade you a little bit too yeah. fast, yeah. <laughs> you already have to order new, new, new tape because we are going through <laughs> miles and miles of tape during the trade show. So, but you see, it can do nice, the nice curve, the nice radius, depending on the tape, it can be smaller or a sure. bigger radius possible. Uh, this system can handle, I think, one eighth of an inch, like 10 millimeter tape, I think was the smallest we tested, and up to two inch, 50 millimeter tape, this system can handle here. This, it's a bigger growing family, so there are more, more tools out there as well, uh, but you can get the idea of what it's capable of. Fantastic. Well, Michael, thank you so much for the rundown of, of all these fantastic solutions, and uh, we appreciate you being a partner with Yaskawa. Perfect. Thank you, Doug, again, and thank you for working with us.